on today's menu, a super delicious recipe to cozy up to. An indulgent, creamy vegetable soup. Lei ho man, that's how's it going in Cantonese. Welcome to Young Man Cooking, I'm Will Young. There's nothing more heartwarming and comforting than a delicious, creamy vegetable soup. Before we get started, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let's begin. Preheat the oven to 375. Blender. One generous cup, cashews. Three cups, water. Blend on high until liquefied. If you don't have a high powered blender, you can soak the cashews overnight to soften them up. Chop about 200 grams of broccoli florets into bite sized pieces. To prevent making a big mess on the cutting board, slice the floret halfway and pull it apart. Slice about 80 grams mushrooms. Two plant-based sausages sliced. In this episode, I'm using field roast plant-based sausages. However, you can use any brand you prefer. Drizzle of avocado oil. Toss. Transfer the veggies onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Spread the veggies out and bake in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. One onion finely chopped. This recipe is quite flexible, so feel free to sub this out if you only have red onions or shallots on hand. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Set aside the onions and garlic. Two stalks of celery, finely chopped. Chopping the celery into smaller pieces will help it cook faster and melt into the base of the soup. One carrot, finely chopped. Alternatively, you can also grate the carrot. Half a red bell pepper, diced. The red bell pepper will add a beautiful pop of red color and a little sweetness to the soup. Stock pot, medium high heat, Two tablespoons avocado oil, onions and garlic. Saute for six to seven minutes. Season with about a teaspoon of salt and fresh cracked pepper. Taking the time to really sweat off the onions will really intensify the base flavor of the soup. About half a teaspoon dried oregano. celery and carrot. Saute for another few minutes. Red bell pepper. Saute for another minute. One liter of water or unsalted veggie stock. 
third cup nutritional yeast. Turn the heat up, give the pot a good stir, and bring to a boil. When the veggies are roasted, take them out of the oven and try not to snack on them too much. When the soup comes to a boil, turn the heat off. Transfer in the roasted veggies. Give the pot a good stir. Pour in the cashew cream while stirring. One cup corn. Feel free to use frozen or fresh. Medium heat. Give the pot a stir and warm the soup up for a few minutes. This will ease in the cashew cream into the soup and prevent it from separating. This is definitely not required, but man, it will add so much extraordinary flavor in this soup. This is some homemade pesto I made in the previous episode. I just have it on hand. A little scoop of this will just melt into the soup. It is amazing. Plate the delicious soup generously. the creamy soup with some pesto to serve. You can now indulge in this delicious soup with absolute confidence. This soup is so inviting. Wow, that is definitely one of the most heartwarming and comforting soups ever. Visually, it looks casual, rustic, has these beautiful pop of colors from the bright yellow corn, the green from the broccoli, the earthy brown from the mushrooms, and the pop of red color from the red bell peppers. Everything is just swimming in this angelic looking soup, and that cashew cream adds this extraordinary full body texture. The soup is incredibly velvety, smooth, and delightfully rich. When you stir in that amazing pesto, not only does it make it look incredible with the separation of that green color from the olive oil, but you're also stirring in so much extraordinary flavor and intense aroma. The plant-based sausage just adds a little bit of that meaty smokiness, which is balanced out really well with the sweet corn and the acidity from the red bell peppers. The carrot, the celery, the onions, and the garlic just melts into the soup and just creates this really dynamic range of amazing flavors. Such an easy and delicious soup to put together. You can really sub this out with whatever veggies you have on hand and you have this extraordinary, heartwarming, comforting soup ready for you. Simple recipes like this makes it so exciting to cook at home. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like that, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the three Young Man Cooking cookbooks. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check these out along with the Young Man Cooking merch or plant-based sushi masterclass. Of course, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell clicked so you won't miss a single episode.